Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up the Nagios Core Monitoring Server on Ubuntu hosted on Google Cloud Platform. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing on Google Cloud Platform and from here you want to create a new virtual machine so for that simply click on launch. And then you would be brought to this screen where you can customize your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name and then most importantly choose the zone where you want your virtual machine to be deployed. Scroll down, choose the machine type according to your requirements, scroll down even more and choose the disk size according to your requirement. Scroll down even more and make sure to check this agreement and then click on deploy. After that, you need to simply wait for a few moments for the deployment process to complete. Once the deployment process is complete, you can access its SSH terminal by simply clicking on this button right over here. That is going to open up a new window which is going to convert into the SSH terminal of our virtual machine. Now inside this SSH terminal, we want to create a new user for Nagios Core Monitoring Server. So for that simply click the link in the description box to go to the step by step blog post guide on how to set up Nagios Core Monitoring Server on Google Cloud Platform. On this blog post, you would find this command which is the sudo ht password command and this is the command that we are going to use to create a new user. So simply copy this command and by the way, the name of the user is this one. So if you want to name it something other than Nagios admin, then simply replace this text and paste it inside the SSH terminal and then hit enter. After that, it is going to ask you for the password. So give the password and then reconfirm the password and then you're done. And now the next step is to actually access the Nagios portal. For that, you need to go back to Google Cloud and then click on this hamburger icon, scroll down, hover on compute engines and then click on VM instances. On this page, you can see that our newly created virtual machine is listed. And if we scroll to the right, we can see the external IP of our virtual machine. So simply copy this IP address paste it inside a new tab and follow it up by Nagios and then hit enter. So it is going to ask you for the username and the password. So type in the username and the password that you have given it. Hit enter and you will be brought to Nagios core monitoring servers portal. So that was it for this tutorial. If you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave them in the comment section and we will get to you as soon as possible. And make sure to check out the link in the description box for the marketplace listing of Nagios core server and for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up Nagios Core Monitoring Server. And lastly, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.